Well, hello, Internet. You guys are always asking me questions about iPad apps that I really like, and today I'm going to show you one that I totally love, and it's called Blogsy. It's $2.99, and no, they're not paying me to do this review. It's a really great way to post information on your blog. If you click in the lower right-hand corner, it's extremely easy to set up everything you need. It allows you to connect to your Flickr account, Picasa, YouTube, and as well, Google Image Search. You can set up Blogsy to work with either WordPress.com or a regular WordPress blog. Blog, and it also works with Blogger if you have that account. So that's pretty much all you need to know to set up everything. And if you want to actually come in here and make a post for your blog, you just click on the little plus sign in the upper right hand corner. And then let's say, for example, I want to go to my website. You click on this little button over here and it opens up a browser right here on screen. And if you want to copy some information, you just come right in here, select it, copy that information. And then it's really important there's a rich part of the app and then they have the writing part of the app. Well, whenever it's a black bar, this is the rich part, and that's how you add images and video and edit text. Over here is where I would actually paste in the information that I want to paste on the screen. So there's everything right there. And then if I'd want to come in here, for example, and take these bulleted items and make them bulleted, I just come in here and select and click right there. Now everything's all bulleted. I want to go back to this part of the screen. You can see everything right here. If I want to come in, for example, and make this text bold, just click highlight it, hit bold, now it's bold. And then let's say for example if I'd want to come in here, put this inside of block quotes, very easy to do. Click like that, now everything's in block quotes. If I wanted to go and get an image, I could go to my Flickr account, right like this, find an image that I'd want to take, and of course I can take images from anywhere on Flickr. Just dropped it right in there. You can just click on this image, I could resize it if I'd want to. Let's say I want to align it left, come in here, give it an alt text, Works real easy, very, very easy to change the size if I'd want to do that. Whenever I'm happy with it, I just click there. I could also, like I said, if I had a Picasso account, I could come in there and get any images out of there. Inside of Flickr, I could also come in here and perform any types of searches that I'd want. It will provide me access to all them, and it automatically seems to get small images, which is kind of smart. And then you can also jump over into my YouTube account, for example. You could also perform a search, just like with all the other things, and get other people's videos. But if I wanted to get my videos, just click on My Uploads. I could say here, How to Spot a Scam. And again, I just drag it over here to where I want it to show up, drop it in. If I want to edit the size of it, I can either click like this, or come in here, for example, and type in 425 by... 350 or whatever and olden bed is flash and iframe obviously is iframe and you could change all these different things if you'd like to do that turn on related videos or turn it off whenever you're done happy with it you just click like that and everything's fine and there's all the information whenever you're done with it just click on this little button up here in the upper left hand corner type in your title click on categories you can either add a new one if you wanted to do that or you could take one that you previously had back out put in tags Decide if you want comments to be allowed. Do you want to publish it now or publish it later? Do you want this to be public or private? And then this is your blog down here. Whenever you're happy with how everything's set up, just hit on publish. Click OK. And of course, like I said before, you can come in here, YouTube, and also do searches inside of YouTube. You could also get embed code. You can do pretty much anything super, super, super fast. And your only restriction, of course, will be copyright restrictions. So if I come in here and type in scam again, you can see different videos that I could drop in there just as easily as before. And if I jump out of Blogsy and jump into my Atomic Web Browser, which in my opinion is the best browser for iPad, then I can jump over into my website. You can see everything automatically posted right in there. And then here's the blog post with the video all embedded. There's the block quotes and there's everything else. So it's a really, really cool app. It's only $2.99, but they keep threatening that they're going to raise the cost of it. So if you like it, you should probably check it out. And in regards to games that I like, of course, I got Angry Birds. Probably my favorite game, however, is Field Runners. I hate this one, even though everybody likes it, this Osmos. Then you have all the obligatory news things. Some I like, some I don't like. CNN keeps getting deleted and then re-added over and over again. But mainly whenever I use my iPad, I use tools like Blogsy. I occasionally use the WordPress thing that's free. But pretty much the only thing I think that's good for is commenting or answering comments. And then these are the two best apps for babies in my opinion. So there is my review of Blogsy. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, till next time.